اشد اللہ اللہ ودہل شریق الح و اشد ان محمد نبد و رسول اما آباد فاؤز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قد جا اکم بسا ارو میر رب کم فمن اب سر فل نفس و من امیا فعلیہ و ما انا علی کم بے حفیظ و کزا لکا نسر فل آیا تلی کلو درست ولی نبی نہول قومی عالم Today's Friday sermon was originally delivered on the 5th of January 1990 by Mr. Majid Ali of the UK branch of the Ahmadiyya Anjuman Ishaat Islam Lahore. The allahamdiyya.org team acquired the handwritten notes of his Friday sermons from Mr. Azruddin Ahmad of Woking. These sermons are being typed out and being presented online with the intention to publish a compilation of his sermons at a later date. I have the pleasure of sharing the sermon with you with the additional benefit of preserving the audio recording of this text of Mr Majid Ali's sermon for the Friday sermon archive. I just recited verses 104 through to 105 of chapter 6 of the Holy Quran. The English translation is Clear proofs have indeed come to you from your Lord so whoever sees it is for the good of his soul and whoever is blind it is to its harm and i am not a keeper over you and thus do we repeat the messages and that they may say you have studied and that we may make it clear to a people who know the topic of this sermon as presented by mr majid ali is apostasy in islam how dealt with a calumny is rampant in non-muslim circles and to a lesser degree in some muslim circles also that whoever leaves the fold of islam is liable to be put to death this is against the teachings of the holy quran which is the primary source of islamic law it is a book of wisdom and its injunctions are quite in accord with the trends of human nature Nature has granted vision and insight to man. If he acts and directs or shapes his lifestyle on the lines God wishes him to shape, he will remain on the right path. But if he shuts his eyes to the truth placed before him, he will not only remain on the horns of dilemma throughout his life, but he will also be a source of constant trouble for his fellow beings. This is what is meant by So whoever sees it is for the good of his soul and whoever is blind it is to its harm the holy quran chapter 6 verse 104 and the holy prophet muhammad peace be upon him through whom the teachings have been revealed is not a, a keeper over his people picking up threads of the same style of teaching the holy quran at another place says But if they turn away we have not sent you as a watcher over them your duty is only to deliver the message the holy quran chapter 42 verse 48 after revealing what he wishes man to do god has left him to adopt the course he likes with no punishment or threat of punishment in this life making it clear that his messenger is not a watcher over him The above verses present a phenomenon of plain teaching without mentioning the punishment that could follow if those teachings were rejected. Any earthly government that makes laws is responsible to see that its orders are carried out. Breakers of law are punished in the land for which laws were made. The laws made by God if broken or not obeyed are punished by him alone. provided their breaking does not affect any living creature in the life to come not in this life the holy quran leaves no ambiguity on this subject the truth is from your lord so whoever wishes let him believe and whoever wishes let him disbelieve surely we have prepared for the wrongdoers a fire 
an enclosure of which will encompass them. The Holy Quran, chapter 1-8, verse 29. If someone says that the verses quoted already are Meccan verses, where Muslims were in a weak position and were constantly under threat of persecution, and that it was natural that the Holy Prophet followed a mild policy. However, the Quranic policy remained unchanged whether the Holy Prophet was in Mecca or in Medina, where he got an upper hand and the government of Medina was, for all practical purposes, a Muslim government. But strangely, there are Medinite verses which clearly mention believers who turn away from Islam. Meccan verses lay only general principles. So as a general principle applicable in matters of religion, the Holy Quran says, La ikraha fi deen. There is no compulsion in religion. The Holy Quran, chapter 2, verse 256. The Jews of Medina engineered a strange strategy, first to accept Islam and later to leave it to create an impression that the religion of Islam was a false one. If apostates were to be put to death, this idea would have not entered the minds of the Jews of Medina, fully knowing that the government of the town was in the hands of the Holy Prophet. The Holy Prophet was informed of this plan through a revelation. And a group of people of the book say, a firm belief in what has been revealed to those who believe in the first part of the day and disbelieve in the latter part of it. Perhaps they may turn back. The Holy Quran, chapter 3, verse 72. At about the same time that the above verse was revealed, in another revelation, the Holy Quran said, And whoever of you turns back from his religion, then he dies while an unbeliever, these it is whose deeds are fruitless in this world and the hereafter, and they are companions of the fire, in it they will abide. The Holy Quran, chapter 2, verse 217. In yet another verse revealed in Medina in the fifth to seventh year of the Hijra, that is migration, when discussing the relations of Muslims with the enemies, the Holy Quran reminds the Muslims that if any of them turn back from his religion, he will be replaced by others. It says, O you who believe, if any one of you should turn back from his religion, then Allah will bring a people whom he loves and who love him. The Holy Quran, chapter 5, verse 54. If there is still someone who is in doubt as to what type turning back the Quran speaks of, here is a verse revealed at Medina in the third year of Hijrah, considered to be the last word on this issue. Those who believe, then disbelieve, again believe, and again disbelieve, then increase in disbelief, Allah will never forgive them nor guide them in the right way. The Holy Quran, chapter 4, verse 137. If beheading was the punishment for apostasy, such a person should not have been given two chances to renunciate Islam without being punished on the first occasion. This one verse is enough to dispel all doubts of about apostasy in Islam and the issues emanating therefrom. Barakallahu lana wa lakum fil Quran al Azim wa nafa'ana wa iyyakum bil ayat wa zikr al Hakim innahu ta'ala jawadun kareemun malikun barrauful rahim. May Allah bless us all in the glorious Qur'an, and may he let us benefit by his signs and wise re remembrance. Verily, Allah the Almighty is generous, affectionate, king, most kind, compassionate, and merciful. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> nahmaduhu, wa nasta'inuhu, wa nastaghfiruhu, wa nu'minu bihi, wa natawakkalu alayhi. وَنَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ شُرُورِ أَنفُسِنَا وَمِنْ سَيِّئَاتِ أَعْمَالِنَا 
من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له اللهم انصر من نصر دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم واجعلنا منهم اللهم اخذل من خذل دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا تجعلنا منهم اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد عباد الله رحمكم الله ان الله يامر بالعدل والاحسان وايتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون عباد الله اذكر الله يذكركم وده يستجب لكم ولذكر الله تعالى اكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون